smell. สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone. My name is Breeze, or you can call me Chef Breeze. Today I'm going to teach you how to make green curry chicken. But before we going to do the green curry chicken itself, you have to learn how to make curry paste first. Let me show you what the ingredients we have here. We start with pounding peppercorn first. Put in the mortar. Better use the stone mortar. If you're using the wooden mortar, it will take very long time. Can we use blender? Yes, we can. But the flavor is not gonna be as good as using the mortar to pound because when you're using blender, you might have to add the liquid into the blender to make it easy to blend. But when you pound with the mortar, you get all the flavor and it's very concentrating. So you don't need to add any extra ingredients into it. You will get a very nice flavor from that. Let's start pounding the peppercorn until it's finely. We add green chilies. It's a lot of green chilies, as you can see. But with this one, big green chili, it doesn't give that much of the spice in it. Let's pound it. And then we add bird's eye chili, which is give the spice in it. Can you hear that? Mmm. But be careful. I'm wearing a glasses, so. The chili won't get to my eyes, but for you, you have to be careful. Watch out your eyes. So put your hands over the mortar like this, so the chilies won't go to your eyes. Whoops. Okay. After we pound the chilies until it's quite fine, and then we add salt. Mix well. After that, follow by. Coriander seeds, cumin seeds, coriander root, galanga, lemongrass, kaffir lime sets. Pound them well. You want to know why I don't add. Garlic and shallot yet, because the garlic and shallot give a lot of moist, what gets a lot of water. So when you pound it, if you add the garlic and shallots first, then everything will be mushy and will be very difficult for you to pound and mix them well. So this one, I need to pound them until it's mixed well. Until you don't see any piece of chilies or any piece of kaffir lime zest, will take you for a while. If you want to work out, this one will be a good curry paste for you to do, because we'll use a lot of energy. After we pound everything, and if you can see, everything mixed quite well now, and then we add. Slicing shallots. If you don't get shallots at home, you can use red onion. It's okay, but if you can get shallots, that will be the better choice. But also, if you can get Thai garlic, the small garlic will be a very good flavor. But if you don't get them, you can use regular garlic, no problem. Pow! And last ingredient that we're going to add in. It will be shrimp paste. As I mentioned, if you want to make the vegetarian uh, version, you. Just don't add them in. But if uh, you want to get more flavors, so this is secret ingredients. We'll take about half an hour to pound with the mortar. But trust me, you'll get very good, tasty green curry paste. Hmm. If you can smell now, so nice. But let me tell you a secret. The market they have curry paste ready made, huh? <laughs> But for this one, for the green curry paste, you can keep in the fridge for over three months. Freeze them. You pound once, and then you freeze them. You can use up to three months. After half an hour, all right. 
my curry paste it's finely smooth wow okay You can once make and keep them for months. Very nice. Can you see? For this recipes, you can also use beef, you can also use chicken, you can also use prawns, and you can also use mushroom for vegetarian version as well. Let's start. Turn on medium heat first, and then we add coconut cream into the pot. and add green curry paste into it. Stir them, mix them well. You wait until the aroma develop and you get a bit of the oil from the coconut milk to develop as well. So let it sit for a bit. Don't stir too much, otherwise the oil from the coconut milk won't develop. As you can see, Mmm, can you smell? I think you can. All right, wait until the aroma developed and wait until the oil separate a little bit. And then we add chicken thigh. And a little bit of coconut milk. Bring it to boil. I will go with low heat first. And then we add a bit of kaffir lime leaves into it so you get a very nice aroma. I will add twice for the kaffir lime leaf. You get more aroma from that as well. And then we add a little bit more of coconut milk. And we add eggplant or aubergine. But you have to be careful. Don't, let's say, don't black the aubergine or don't make it brown. So we soak in salt water to keep it very nice white color. And then we add more of coconut milk. Bring it to boil. And then we season them by adding coconut sugar. fish sauce but I will add half of the fish sauce first and then I will taste a little bit if it's salty enough for me because of the green curry it had to be uh, salty taste first and then the sweet come later mm, I can add more very nice and let it sit a little bit simmer them a little bit for about one or two minutes first. And then we add more of coconut milk. Bring it to boil. After the boiling chicken and eggplants cook, and then lastly, we add more color by adding kaffir lime leaves to get very nice green color. You can tear a little bit. And then we have slicing red chili to get more color. We don't need spicy flavor from that. Turn the heat off. We add sweet basil. If you cannot find sweet basil, liquor basil or Italian basil is fine. But if you get Thai basil, better to use them. Very nice crumbler. And ready to serve. I will transfer them to the serving bowl. Ooh, smells so good. The color so nice. The eggplant perfectly cooked. The chicken perfectly cooked. Slicing chilies, thinly sliced. And a top leaves of sweet basil. And 
ready to serve.